Okay, here are the current <coughs> variants in um, Western Australia. And of concern are the ones that are going fastest, but I'm going to point a few out. Um, CH.1.1, I think that's in the same, comes from the family. BA.2.75. star. That's growing. This one, BQ.1.1, which is a variant of concern in its own right. Um, that is growing. Um, so are these ones. Uh, BN, BM.1.1.1. BR.2. Uh, this one is of a major concern because it is a delta cron. It's a recombinant variant between um, the delta variant and um, Omicron BA.2. BA.2 should have been given its own name, but they stuck it under the name um, Omicron. But in any case, this is a recombinant variant with the Delta variant, which had a case fatality rate of about 3% compared to Omicron, which is 0.15%, so it's 20 times higher. So we don't know yet whether this is a more deadly variant or not. It could be. It could get swamped by these other ones, but it's been around for quite a while. Uh, I'm not too sure how far it goes back. Six months, maybe? I can't, I can't tell. Um, but I've noticed that it's just slowly growing. And the other one we need to worry about is other, because we just don't know what other is yet. And it's just constant. For example, um, XBB.1.5 or Kraken. Kraken is in, is in that list. All right. So there's a lot of variants and we're going through this multiple uh, variant wave at the moment. And here is the S protein spike on each of them. And you can really see that um, XBC.1, the one I'm most concerned about, looks so different. Looks so different. And that's only in a protein spike. I'll look at the other genes. I'm not going to bother. And here's what I mean about they lumped all these as um, Omicron, but they are actually variants in their own right. BQ.1.1 is a variant in its own right, as is BQ.1 star as is BA.5, as is BA.75. So we're in for a torrent time. This pandemic is not is not over by a long shot. Um, BA.5.2.6 just keeps going on. I think it's maybe about to fizzle out soon. But then now there's a lot going on. 